happens to a lot of background media okay and once you're done with that add it to media out this will be our main media okay and after that let's add a text okay in text write light okay once you're done with that let's change the font font to overcame and then change the size okay uh, after that we'll add a, a background an ellipse okay and make it to the size and this will be the size of the rays okay the outer layer of the bulb okay we'll cut it to text okay increase the softness to 2 or to the max value okay and change the color of the background to yellow or whatever the now we'll add a glow to it okay and then make the just try to make it more like a glow by a blend and a glow size and uh, everything okay now in merge make the merge to geometric okay or you can do in operator in okay but i'm using geometry because it just looks much better than in okay geometric is much better if you want more light to it okay and now we'll add instance layer of the text okay and then connect it to the main media okay so so we'll connect the whole thing to the instance text okay and the text one merge okay reduce the blend okay so now we'll make the bulb okay i will add the background ellipse okay and then uh, then change the ellipse size to desired bulb size you want okay and uh, at the background color make it to the color of the glow okay that's up to you actually but i prefer like this now you see we have the bulb we have the night glow in the text but you don't have the glow itself on the main media right to add the glow we'll just add the glow to the main media it's that simple okay so now we have the first glow which is first masked into the text and second it's also added to the main media to add a glow okay now we will add glow to the bulb okay and then change the size of the glow and the glow size okay like 22 maybe and uh, the glow maybe 0.65 okay and uh, make the light text a little bit down okay and uh, add transform to the glow to outer glow and make it an instance transform and connect it to the bulb okay so now if you move one the another one moves it with it too okay now we'll just change the pivot because the pivot controls the angle okay also the size okay so if you see the pivot actually becomes like a lever so when we whenever you move the pivot the pivot controls the angle okay so if we move it to the corner you see the angle is moving from that direction it becomes the lever okay so we will just connect the pivot to the center okay so that when we move our light it moves that point okay i hope you get it so how does a newbie do it okay so he just adds points okay uh, after each frame okay and uh, it's kind of like a manual labor work okay and that's how we do it okay but if you're a little bit more advanced okay you will come to the spline you will make sure that everything is uh, on the same number and uh, select all of and then select the shape box and give them a shape like this okay which will ultimately have a declining animation okay now it's true that you got the animation but it's too much of a manual work okay so we don't want to do it right so how to do it much better way okay so we'll come to the angle and then add anim curves okay and then now you see you have 360 in the scale okay which uh, will move a 360 which will move 360 yeah like a 360 angle right it's and uh, you see the curve is linear so it's not gonna stop okay it's going on a steady pace okay so what you have to do is first change the curve to easing okay so it gets a little faster at the end and a little slower in the beginning right and then in the in out we will make it to elastic right so what elastic does is the same thing that we did manually okay but now it's say it's very fast right because the scale is 360 so it's having a 360 move right so we will decrease it maybe to around like 100 right now you see the movement is going to the 100 degree right but it's not in the center okay it's in a hundred degree so how do we fix it 
so we all have to do is like balance out the movement animation that is moving here and this way this is when offset comes okay offset is like how far will it go after the skin like if it's 100 and the offset is 100 how far would we, how far would it go after 100 it will be another 100 right now it's 216 right so it's going 100 plus 216 right so it's, it's going to 316 do you get me so that's how it's moving so if we use this in a good way and balance out the scale negative of the scale right so if it's 100 we'll do minus 100 so we made it to the center position right but what if you have to change the here's you want the side of the movement to start from not the left but from the right in that case you have to change the scale from plus to minus okay now if you want to make it more simple add expression in offset okay and then connect it to the scale okay you can either uh, click on it and add expression or you can add or you can just type equal to on the value of the offset okay and then connect to it and then add a minus negative sign okay after the scale okay so now it will just uh, automatically adjust the number and add a negative sign and then it will be in the center position now for time scale okay time scale is like how fast the animation is going on okay or how fast the animation is coming to an end okay that's what time scale controls now i want the animation to be a little slower okay so i'll make it to one or maybe 0 0.9 okay so now we have to add two more things to complete the bulb okay is like to add the bulb uh, like the bulb object bulb and uh, the string or the rope okay so for the rope, I can I will add a mask paint, okay, and then select the polygon one, and then uh, drag a straight line, okay, or draw a straight line, okay, and in, in brush control, I will make it to solid, okay, not soft one. And once we're done with that, I will come to the stroke controls, okay, and in stroke controls, I will increase the spacing, okay. So when I increase the spacing, it will have this kind of like circle uh, line thing, which is kind of good. Okay, we shall like it. So I will add to that. And now you see we have the animation, but the line is not really on the same position. Uh, so it's because, uh, well, uh, let's just fix it with the publish node. Okay, so I will just select both the points. Okay, and publish them with shift P. Okay shift p is for publishing right so when we do that we'll have two center points okay we'll add the upper center point or the point zero to the pivot point when we do that what will happen is the first point will be on the same position of the pivot right so now the problem is solved for misalignment okay now align the second point or the point one manually okay like make it close to the light okay and the merge make it to under okay and change the background of the mask to whatever color you desire the rope to be okay i will make it to like a little bit grayish tone okay so we're done okay now we have to add uh, the bulb png okay so add the bulb png before we add the mask okay, and then make it under okay and yeah we are done